What is up, creator? We are going to have a tutorial on the OBS VLC video source plugin. Get some! Good news, creator. There is no plugin to install for OBS Studio in regards to VLC. <laughs> it's absolutely true. There is none. OBS Studio automatically will detect whether or not you have the proper version of VLC installed on your computer. And when it finds it, it creates the source automatically. That's right. It creates the VLC source without an install. As long as it detects the correct version on your computer, you're good to go. So what is the correct version? Well, you may have VLC on your computer. Actually, I had it on mine and it was not working. And I was like, where's the plugin? I can't find it. I looked high and low on the blue uh, OBS website and I couldn't find it. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then I realized that I had the 32-bit version on my computer. So I deleted it and installed the 64-bit version and it all worked out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we are at videoland.org forward slash VLC forward slash download dash windows dot HTML. Okay. And here it is. It says VLC for Windows. There's a drop down here. And the third one down says installer for 64-bit version. Okay. So just to be, if you don't, if you're opening up OBS Studio and you do not see a source like this. So here, if I go in here and I hit the plus sign and I select VLC source. If you don't see that in your list, in your source list, that probably means that the version of VLC on your computer is not correct. So uninstall it, install the 64 bit version, restart OBS. That's absolutely crucial. And it will be there upon it being there. Now you can create streams that are 10 hours long because you can just put all the files that you want to play music, videos, videos, and music. That's right. It will cycle through a song and then it'll get to the video and play it automatically. Let me touch on the parameters real quick. Here we are with OBS open. We're in a scene called outro. We're going to add a new source by clicking the plus sign in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to select VLC video source. Notice it says video. It's okay. It will play MP3s as well as video files. Okay. I'm going to hit okay. And I'm going to loop the playlist. So it's going to play the songs forever. And it's going to randomly choose the songs in the playlist when it plays them. The visibility behavior, I'm going to select as stop when not visible, but restart when visible. And the reason why I select that is because I don't want the, the computer to work when it doesn't have to. Okay, I don't want it to have to play videos when nobody's watching the scene. It, all, it also makes me wonder why we even have to choose this option because I don't think anybody would want to choose stop when not visible. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's hit the plus sign and hit add directory. Okay, and we're going to find a folder in the in my computer called music library 20 seconds and it's comprised of a series of mp3 files that are exactly 20 seconds long for use in end screens okay so i just wanted to ch choose some short songs here for you i'll hit select folder and i will scroll down and there's one parameter here called caching network caching i'm not really sure why this is a selection i don't understand the importance of it uh, I don't know. It's 4,000 milliseconds. That's less than half a second. I'll just leave it as that. If you know what this means, let me know in comments. I'd like some guidance on that. Audio track, I believe, means that it's going to start with the first track. You can hit number two or number three. It'll come in on the second or third track. Uh, subtitles not enabled. Subtitles, like, I don't want to bother with that. I'll hit OK. And as you can see, the VLC video source begins to play right away, but you can't hear anything. Naturally, that's because the gear says that the following, if I hit the gear and hit advanced audio properties, right, the system defaults to not letting you hear what's being played. So you have to turn that on so you can hear it. Okay. So you need to go into audio monitoring and select monitor and output. As soon as you do that, you can hear it. Okay. And you can adjust the volume level of the music here. Now, I want to remind you that when you have a lot of these music tracks playing, you better make sure that the volume levels are the same for all your music. Otherwise, one song could be really loud and one song could be too quiet. And that will be problematic when you're playing it to your people during the live stream. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're interested in some more wicked cool tools that you can download and use for your OBS program, just click this right here 
and it'll take you to a playlist with a lot of cool stuff. You're going to love it. I will talk to you soon on that video. Best wishes. Stay strong and keep fighting. Remember, the struggle is the adventure. That's what makes it fun here. So keep on fighting. I'll talk to you later.